Hi, I'm Dan Hamer of Carbon Frog, and yesterday I got delivered uh, some uh, prototype PCBs from Ragworm. Now, it's the first time I've used them. I did a little bit of due diligence uh, on Google just to see if anyone else had used them and, and what the general opinion of them was. Uh, I didn't really find much information, so I thought I'd make a short video for anyone else who's thinking of using them just to tell them uh, what, what I think and to, to show the, the boards they're made and the, you know, what kind of job they've done of them. Uh, so. Uh, let's open the bag and see what we've got. We've got a paperwork there. Um, got some heart-shaped confetti, which is nice. Great, and a free gift. It looks like they've got some LEDs there. I have to check those out in a bit. And here are the boards. So uh, let's cut them open and see what we've got. Okay, so here are the boards. So let's cut them open. Um, I've got five of uh, two different boards. Um, it's an Arduino based project. I will talk a little bit more about the project a little later on. But, uh, let's take a look. Let's have a look at one of these. And um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, first impressions. Yeah, very nice. They, you know, the, the printing's nice and clear, even the, you know, the fine silk screen. The tracks look nice and clean and uh, yeah, can't really fault it. That's that's one. And the others. Yep, all looks good. Yeah, no problem at all. I've got sort of little castellated contacts on the side. That's the first time I've done that. Um, there was no problem. Again, there's no, not much information about doing that on the internet. Uh, but uh, yeah, absolutely no problem specifying them. Just put the I just put the uh, the pads on the edge of the, the board edge, and yeah, it's fine. They sorted it all out, and it it it, it looks great. Um, all the other pads look fine. Uh, very pleased with them. Uh, incidentally, I'm using KiCad. Uh, they just accepted the the Gerber output from KiCad, no problems. Um, I think I I made a mistake and sent them the the drilling map rather than the drilling file, and that was the only hiccup. But really, not a problem. Uh, it's my first time using KiCad. For, uh, for manufacturing PCBs. Um, so yeah, all went well. No problems. So the, the next step is to make up a couple of these boards and to see how well they perform with the whole reflow process. Um, I, there's a couple of firsts here for me. I'm, I'm using some 0402 capacitors, so obviously they're, they're, they're quite small and fiddly. Uh, I'm also using some 28 pin QFNs, which are also you know, quite quite fiddly to do. So uh, we'll see how well the boards perform on that and hopefully I'll film some of the process and show you the results. So I'm um, uh, putting on the solder paste with, a, with just a pin. I normally use a toothpick but because some of these pads are so small I'm having to resort to painting it on with a, a pin. It's a little bit of a mess. But, um, Hopefully the, the the surface tension and the surface uh, and the um, solder paste technology is going to uh, you know, sort, sort all that out and neaten it up. It's important just to make sure you get sort of a reasonably even amount on on that QFN because the chip's going to float on on sort of these bubbles of, of solder paste, and you don't you know you want them to be reasonably even so that it. So each one, you know, you don't get any cross, any, you know, any bridges, any sort of bridges, and you don't get sort of any that you aren't connected either. These are 402s really are quite fiddly, but not, not too bad.
Okay, so I've got the boards all soldered now. I've also soldered in all the headers and through hole components, such as this electret microphone that I've got on the VU meter module. So the next step is to burn the bootloader. I've set up an, I an Arduino Uno as the ISP, and so uh, and also made up this lead, and so it's all ready to to burn the bootloader. So let's go ahead and do that. Connect that to the computer and. Burn the bootloader. This will take a couple of minutes. Right, the boot bootloader has now been burnt, so all's looking good. So I'm now going to upload the Blink sketch using the programmer. Again, all is looking good, and that's worked fine. Now, just to test that's working, what I'm going to do is uh, connect the connect this LED here that I've got set up on the breadboard to the clock line, which of course is also pin 13. And with any luck, that will flash, and there we go. So that's running fine. All's looking good. So the purpose of this board, and the reason why I wanted to make such a small Arduino in this particular form factor, is this solders onto the end of these intelligent LED strips. These are the uh, WS2812B LEDs, otherwise known as NeoPixel. I believe that's what uh, Adafruit call them. And uh, the, the the little castellated connectors on the end here. Can solder directly on to the onto the connector onto the little connections on the strip, so that this can fit into any housing that this could fit into, keeping it nice and slim. The VU module is just one of some other modules that I've got planned that just plug straight into the board, like so, and that will allow you to turn this into a little VU meter. So this prototype is now working fine. Uh, the boards from Ragworm have performed fantastically well. I've been very pleased with them. Uh, I've now got a whole load of more thorough testing to do, as well as a whole load of firmware to write. Uh, so to, to make the VU meter work for a start, I'm also planning a, like a, a USB module so you can control it directly from a PC. Uh, and hopefully, with any luck, this will soon be available for purchase. So please keep checking back on our website. That's www carbonfrog.com, I'll link that in down below. Uh, also uh, please check out some of our other uh, products that are available on our site such as the matrix clock. Um, this is available from our web, direct from our website or you can purchase it through Tindy uh, or from Seed Studio. So thanks very much for watching and goodbye.